if we're serious about climate change, we cannot ignore deforestation. Deforestation. Killing me softly with cardboard. Killing me softly with cardboard. Killing my whole life. Hold up. Getting that over here with the battery. And we're going to put a couple more of these on. Oh, yeah. I got some of mine. Alright. My name is Beatrice, I am the singer from Uganda. I'm 40 years old, a teacher, classroom teacher, a mother of two, a widow, and uh, an indigenous tree farmer. My name is Arabella uh, Katenya, Mr. Shani, from K Kenya. I must say community that's very traditional. My plea to the UNFCCC parties is to listen to the trees, listen to the rural, commu rural poor communities, and the biodiversity, both fauna and flora, that heavily depends on the existing forests. Thank you. We ask developing countries to send us coffee, soybeans, and a variety of other agricultural products. In most of these developing countries, you have to cut down the forest first in order to plant those commodities. Generally, those commodities are low priced. We're arguing that if we're serious about deforestation, we have to provide the correct incentive structure. What that means is the UNFCC and the Kyoto Protocol need to consider how they can be correctly structured to encourage developing countries to conserve their forests rather than to cut them down. If we're serious about climate change, we cannot ignore deforestation. The entire efficacy of the, of the Kyoto Protocol is in question unless we figure out a way to address this.